Hello everybody, welcome back to The Long Dark with Gazbeard, that's me. And today we're going to start some speed crafting. We've got a lot of arrows to make. We're going to make a couple of the spare bows because our existing bows are pretty low. But as always, let's start by checking his stomach. Oops, wrong one. There we go. He's ravenous. He's thirsty. It's midday. We might get a bow made today if we're very quick. So let's just dive outside, grab a bit of meat, and then we'll get that bow made. Spend the night in the snow shelter. Um, right. So eat that one. And we'll eat that piece of wolf. Get some decent calorie stores into him. Take a drink. There we go. And we need two cured guts to make a bow. Let's see if we got any across here. Should have, yeah. Take that one and that one. Grab a cured maple sapling and we're going to spend five hours straight just making the bow. It'll probably interrupt us at some point and we'll use the hunting knife. Excellent. Bow made. Right, let's put the bow up the new bow upstairs with the rifle. And in fact what we'll do is we'll put it at the side of the table there. New bow at a hundred percent. And yeah, we'll we'll get it there. That flickering's kind of worrying. Wow, why is that in the midair? What? Hmm. Well, we'll leave it there. At least we know where it's at. Now, have we got any water downstairs? We've got two litres downstairs. We're going to need to grab that. Just check how much we do have. We've got 0.79 litres, so we grab one bottle. We're going to need to make some more for on there. That's our grab and go stocks. One of the other things that we need to do is we're going to need more meat than we actually have for the massive crafting section coming up now let's see if our deer is out here I didn't notice him when we came back to Milton on Monday and I don't see him This is turning into a blizzard, so we may have to just wait until he comes back. What I would like to do is just have a look and see what we've got on the lake. I'm not seeing any animals on the lake. They're being smart and getting out of the weather. Right, that way. Now we're going to spend the night in the snow shelter tonight because we're doing a lot of crafting. We're going to be indoors a lot. Let's just put the bow away. One of the things we need to do in preparation for that is have a storm lantern ready it's got a full liter fuel in it hmm. I 
So I'm going to leave the storm lantern down there for when we're coming in and out in the dark. Right, we've got about two hours left, like I said, so let's make a couple of um, arrows, or at least arrow shafts. We only need 30 minutes for that. We can probably get three done. And I want to pick up a, a different hunting knife to use. We'll take that one, the 77% one. Um, it's not letting me... It's not letting me choose that one. It's wanting me to use my good knife. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my good knife. Because I want to keep that for when we're out on the hunt. On that side of the vice. And we'll get these arrow shafts made and put in the drawer. We'll make a lot more of them tomorrow. And then we'll start making the arrows tomorrow as well. There we are, and we can just see, so if we put those nine into there, it gives us 12 arrow shafts in there. We need 20 in total, we can only make 20 arrows because we've only got 60 feathers. So we've got 12 done, we're going to need to do another three sets of those tomorrow. Now, exit the camp office should be about here. It is. Let's just check how many calories we've got in this. 606. We're going to need a piece of meat. Um, we'll eat that one. I'll take a drink. There we go. And the weather's pretty earth. So... Let's just check the snow shelter, 97%. We'll pick up a stick. We'll repair it. And then we'll use the snow shelter. It's still pretty early in the night and we're not quite tired enough. We've got nothing that we can do in here. Could do some small clothing repairs, I guess. Let's just see if we got anything that needs done. Um, well, it's between these and the socks as to what's at lowest condition. Let's repair these. One hour, one minute. We might lose daylight before we get it done. Too dark. Yeah. So, we're going to have to just pass some time. And... Passing one hour should be enough. Now we can sleep, and we want to put in about nine hours. We probably want to drink first, actually. Oh, didn't mean to sleep for one hour. Oh, I'm messing this up good and proper. I'm being a right old fart about this, aren't I? Let's put eight hours on there. And the 
weather's improved. We do have daylight. Whether we've got daylight inside the camp office or not is another story. So, how are we doing? We we'll probably need to drink. Yeah. And exit the snow shelter. We'll probably need to eat if we're wanting to get through today. Is our deer back up there? Can't see him from here. Right. back to the workbench let's just check where's the draw gone there we are we have 12 we need another eight we'll have to use three saplings in order to uh, actually make nine that's okay it's not a problem so the the problem is we can't see the saplings, so we're not sure that we're getting the right ones. Well, if we get them out of sequence, we get them out of sequence. One, two... We're just getting enough light coming through now that we can do it. Right, and the arrow shafts. Use that lower condition hunting knife to um, shape them. And again. Right, there we go. And now we want to take all but one of them. We want to need twenty of these. And then we're gonna need all of those. And we start making the arrows. Right, it's lunchtime. We're getting a little bit peckish and thirsty, so... What we'll do is we'll just dive out and eat that. Drink that. We're probably going to have to pick up some more water because that didn't clear our thirst. So we'll grab that last one litre on there. Back to the workbench, take that drink. Right, make some more arrows. So individual arrows take an hour and a half, which seems kind of strange to me, but uh, then again, maybe. Fletching is a fiddly job and does take a while to do. We're just going to keep making arrows as long into the day as we can. And we can probably get one more done before dark. Yep. And if we can find the, the draw, what we can do is we can lose some of our load by moving some of those arrows into there 
Um, we've got two here, so we need to move five arrows across. There we are. That gives us ten in our pack. Now we do need to find some water. So if we equip the storm lantern, just so we can do this as quickly as possible. Take two of these. Too much stuff to carry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what we'll do is we'll extinguish the storm lantern. And then we'll put it on here next to the torch. And then step outside. Still daylight outside, it's just not enough light getting into the building. Right, how is our calories and stuff? 638, which is technically enough to get us through the night. So, let's just eat that half kilo. Take a good drink. Any sign of our deer? Let's go find out. No sign at all of them. We may have to do a hunt tomorrow. And then after we've done the hunt, continue on with the arrows. Because we're getting, to my mind, critically low on food. We're down to four and a half kilos. See if we can see any animals on the lake. Doesn't look like it. Could be worth doing some fishing tomorrow as well. Work on that skill. If we can get onto the lake, that is. Alright, condition of the snow shelter. 84%. Probably needs about three sticks. Feels like night is coming. Needs two. That's fine. Just drop that excess stick there. Need to collect some more sticks tomorrow as well for repairing the snow shelter. Put the bow away. Climb in. Right, so we want to check the condition of our sleeping bag. 89%. That's going to need a repair, so what we could do is get that done. That will just help take us towards sleeping time, 100%, there we go. And... We're not, again, we're not tired enough. But... What we can do is... We can just pass some time. Probably past two hours. We've got an aurora. We we could go indoors and work, except that we're now tired enough to sleep till sunrise. So let's just keep to our regular routine. And what we'll do now is we take a drink. We should have. Oh, we might need to eat. We got any? We didn't pick up any meat. We've got 637 calories. Well, I guess we need to start using a bit of this up. 
what we'll do is we'll just have a pair of cattails. That means we will be famished in the morning, but at least it will give us enough calories to get through the night. So let's just use the sleeping bag to sleep. We're going to push in eight hours. Excellent. I could eat a horse. Looking for the deer. He's not there. Never known him to be so absent for so long. Kinda worrying. Right, we'll eat a full kilo. We'll take a drink. And then I'm just going to move this meat across a bit, make a bit of space. We definitely need to go on a hunt. So let's get the bow out. Let's see if we can spot our deer. While well, we've got some relatively calm weather, it's probably cold. I don't see him at all. If we killed him just before we went to the muskeg, he should have respawned by now. He's definitely not around. Okay. What we might have to do is go along to the far end of the lake trail and do a hunt along there we use this route because in voyager mode I don't think I've ever seen a wolf down here I have seen them in stalker mode, eh not stalker yeah stalker mode when they pursued me across the top of there and followed me down into here um, but they weren't spawned and patrolling in here so this is a reasonably it's a reasonably safe route but you can't afford to take it for granted and all this wood and stuff we'll collect on the way back is we'll need it for doing the cooking. Remembering we still have a bunch of arrows to make, but we need to stock up the food before we do that. And it also breaks up the monotony of standing at the workbench crafting. deer over here. Question is, have we also got wolves? The deer are pretty spread out. That's a better shot. Damn it. Oh well, get the arrows. Oh, 
watching for wolves on the lake. Okay, where's the arrows? Didn't think they were this far out. You would think the arrows would be easy to spot on the lake, wouldn't you? There's one. And there's the other one. So now we've got deer over here. him. That went past him. That landed under his feet. Tell I've not been deer hunting for a while. My nice shot. Grouping was pretty good. Look at them all We're quite close together. The question is, where did they all go? There's one away up there. There's one away. I don't want to be heading too far across the lake though, that's the issue. Yeah, we know. Ah, he's spooked. That one over there is looking favourite right now. Get halfway across the lake because he's much closer to home than the others. Don't want to get close enough to spook him. So about here should be good. We'll wait for him to stop moving. That one went right under his feet. A little bit more elevation. That was too high. Stand still. That hit him. Right, so he'll run and bleed out. We'll go and get those other two arrows. We'll keep an eye on him. Watch where he's running. He's heading up to the back of there. Still heading up to the back of there. Now we've got a couple of arrows over here somewhere. I don't see them. Put a bit of height up here, see if we can spot them. There's one. The other one I felt landed a bit short of him. Might be on this side of the tree, it might be on the other. Looks like it's on the other. There it is. 
And why didn't that render when we were over here? Right, now. The wounded deer went up there towards the climbing rope. My fingers feel numb. Question is, did he go up into those woods? We need to try and... There's his blood trail. Oh, he did go up here. And we can't get up there. If he's gone up there, that's going to be a real pain because we're going to have to go across here and then climb up after him. And we're going to run over length on this video, so what I might have to do is get to the top of the hill, see if I can spot him, and then end the video here. So I'll give my daily reminder as usual as we're climbing up this hill. And just say, please do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, which costs you nothing. Check out the video description. Um, it's got links to my other channels in it. And I'd very much appreciate you doing that. And maybe following me across on those. Um, any comments? Any thoughts about the game or the gameplay? Or even the video's presentation and quality? Leave them in the comments down below. And um, so cold. I'll get back to you with them. Just to lay down for a bit. Yeah, we probably need to go into the cave and warm up. Which means we're going to need... To oh, there's the deer's blood trail. Don't know which way it was going. Maybe he's gone down here. Um, let me just get into the the cave down here. We forgot to repair the hacksaw. We can't collect wood. But if we dive down into this cave, at least we can warm up. Hopefully. I'm not sure if this is a warm cave or not. But we'll end the video here. So, as I say, please do leave comments down below. Don't be shy about it. Um, but very much, it's not a war or oh, it is a warm cave. So, we can stand back here while I just end the video. And I'll see you tomorrow, and we'll continue this hunt for the injured deer. And I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Gazbeard. As always, when I leave a video, it's not goodbye, it's bye for now.